With the release of the new sticker update, many mistakes appear that prevent us from making progress in Bee Swarm Simulator. So, in today's video, we will see and learn not to make the same mistake a second time. I don't want to hold you back, so I would like you to watch until the end. Red Hive subscribe to my channel, Blue Hive leave a like, White Hive comment with your total honey, and Mixed Hive do them all. The first mistake is represented by Sticker Printer. This sticker printer was supposed to improve everyone's progress. But it seems that it is not as you think, on the contrary, it makes it worse. We all know if we want to use the sticker printer, we have to risk our eggs from the inventory. Well, players who have just started the game, who have just reached this area, will try their luck at this RNG-based machine. Guess what? They will risk the golden eggs they need for honey mask. They will risk the diamond eggs they need for the diamond mask. We all know that Royal Jelly Dispenser and Supreme Star Amulet are based on RNG and created problems for us along the progress. Well, Sticker Printer is even worse than that. We risk our honey for Royal Jelly and Star Amulet, right? For this machine, we risk eggs from the inventory, which will lead to double RNG. I mean, you have to pray that it will give you something good and pray to get your egg back. You even need the silver egg at Spirit Bear to donate it to the Wind Shrine. My advice for this machine is not to waste eggs like Diamond Egg, Gold Egg and try to keep a silver egg in inventory for Spirit Bear Quest. Another mistake happens in the trading area. In fact, there are two mistakes that players make here. The first mistake is that you plant sprouts randomly without any reason in the trading hub field. First of all, you won't get any tokens considering that there are many players on that field waiting for the same thing. Second, it will take you a thousand light years to break the sprout. The second mistake is that you use the sticker seeker tool. That tool is not good for the grind. It won't take you a thousand light years to break the sprout. It will take you 2000 light years to do it. The conclusion is that you are wasting your time in this area, and you don't even know why. Another mistake you are making. You place stickers on the hive with the hope that it will give you those promised buffs. Well, you only get those buffs if you donate stickers to Sticker Stack. But this mistake can be fixed considering that there is a peel option that will return the sticker placed on the hive. So, if you want buffs from these stickers, make sure you donate them to the sticker stack, but with one condition, and that is that once you donate the stickers, you won't be able to get them back. Of course, there are still mistakes in this update, and that's about Nectar Condenser. Players have active Nectars, and forget every time that this added Nectar Condenser is in the game. If you know you won't be playing Bee Swarm for a long time, make sure you put your Nectars in vials. The 12 hours of Nectar will turn into Nectar Vial, that is 4 hours. Rather than losing all the Nectar, it is better to save some of it. The trading function is a big mistake. You use this function too much, which will lead to something bad. You consider that you have too many duplicate items and will trade them. Why not send my extra beequips to the secondary account, where I will become a blue hive? Of course, a beehive skin but also a cub buddy skin. At this rate, you can increase the rate of progress in the account you want to be a fuzzy alt. So, stop wasting inventory items for nothing. Never trade your cub buddy skins, because you will lose them, and it makes no sense to trade something you worked hard for. What I want to say is that this trade function should not have been added for cub buddy skins. These skins are a rare trophy for players who worked hard to get them. Instead, Beequips and stickers are acceptable. These were the most common mistakes that players make in Bee Swarm Simulator. Thank you to those who stayed until the end. Please, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Join the Discord server where you can find a lot of help. It was me Zap Player, your favorite troll. Stay safe, stay strong, and stay cool. Bye bye.